this month's TV 47 Star Student of the Month. Hey, we welcome Makaya Mosley. She is a senior at Mumford High School. She was on this show when she was an eighth grader. She said I looked much younger then. Mm -hmm. I don't know what she meant by that. Makaya, good morning. Good morning. Good to have you with us today. Good senior good at Mumford morning. High School. Tell us a little bit more about yourself. Um, yes, sir. I'm a senior at Mumford High School. Um, I am involved in volleyball, softball, and basketball. Um, I was named the co-player of the year and um, my volleyball team made it to the Sweet 16. We lost in the second round to Montgomery Academy. Um, we were runner-ups for our area, and then we came in second place. We lost to um, Sylacauga. Wow, who's in your family? County. Who's um, your family? My mom is Megan Mosley, my dad is Shannon Mosley, and I have two younger siblings, Elise Mosley, she's in ninth grade. And then my little brother, Ezekiel Mosley, he is in pre-K. Okay, and uh, you got any pets? Um, I have a bunny. A bunny? Yes, sir. Like a bunny rabbit? Yes, sir. Tell me about that bunny rabbit. <laughs> they make a lot of noise at night. <laughs> They're not very sweet. Are they in a cage or yes, stuff? Yes, he okay. has a cage. What color is a bunny rabbit? It's brown. Okay. How long have you had that rabbit? Um, for about a month now. Now, was this your idea? Yes. Okay. It lives in my room. Why a bunny rabbit? I just always wanted a bunny rabbit, I guess. What's the bunny rabbit's name? Coco. Coco? Yes. Okay. Uh, you and Coco have conversations? No. Mm. <laughs> I fuss at him a lot. <laughs> For keeping you awake at night? What make kind of it, noise does it make? It a mess. What does it, what does it do? It just bangs on the cage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Micaiah Mosley. This is never a dull moment with our star <laughs> students, for sure. A senior at Munford High School with a A and B maintaining that top 15 in her class. How do you do that? Um, I just make sure I put my um, grades first because that's important. And Dr. G, he's a teacher at Mumford High School. He teaches social sciences. He's a really big part in making sure we stay on our grades. Our goal for this year is six to eight million dollars in scholarships. So I've been applying like crazy to schools. Got accepted to a couple of schools. I just make sure that, because I, I know the big goal is to go to college, have a future. Yeah. So I just make sure I keep my grades wow. maintained. What's some of the courses you're taking your senior year? Um, I'm taking dual enrollment math, math 112, and I'm taking AP Gov and economics that Dr. G teaches. Okay, and uh, who's some of your teachers at school? Um, I have Ms. Wadsworth for anatomy, Mr. Bailey. Like I said, Dr. G, he helps a lot. Yeah. All right. Uh, Micaiah Mosley is a senior at Munford High School with all these uh, uh, sporting activities you're involved in and teams, uh, how do you keep all them balls in there? Uh, well, with your education and, and sports. This year we actually got a new volleyball coach. Her name is Destiny Brisky. Mm -hmm. She came from Decatur. And when she first came, because we had had the same coach since my ninth grade year. And I've been on varsity since my ninth grade year. Mm -hmm. And when we first got her, I didn't know what to expect because a new coach coming in, you're used to doing some yeah. of the same things and some of the same drills. But she, when she got here, she took us all the way back to the fundamentals. And I never had that before. And I'm very grateful for her because she taught me that we need to live in the moment instead of going ahead. And it's just really good to get new perspective and everything, and I think we made it so far because of her and because of our team. We um, had had the, this is the best team I've ever been a part you, of. Y'all just finished your season a few weeks ago, yes, right? Yes, we did. We competed in Montgomery at the Crampton Bowl. We won our first round, and we played our second round at 3.30, and we lost to Montgomery Academy. So what role do you play on the volleyball team? Um, I, I, along with Kelsey Goodson, was team captain. And as a team captain, it's really big. You have to be really big. You have to make sure you keep your teammates together mm -hmm. and as one. Because if you're not one on the court, then it's not going to work. You, each person, Coach Brisky always said, each person has to do their job. And as long as each person does their job on the court, then everything will come together. You know, that is a uh, illustration for life, you know. Yes, sir. Uh, you were co-player of the year. Uh, for Talladega City Big Schools yes. and uh, or Talladega County Big Schools, and that's uh, that's quite an honor right there. And uh, so I know you worked hard uh, to uh, reach that pinnacle. And uh, so uh, 
Do you play other sports? So you play other sports as well, right? Yes, sir. Um, our first game for basketball is actually today at Donahoe. We play the boy, our JV boys, I think, play at 4. We play at 5.30, and then our varsity You're boys pretty good? play after us. This is only my second year playing. <laughs> you shoot it? Yes. Okay. Right. Well, good luck to you today on the hardwood. And uh, so you're involved with volleyball, you're involved with uh, basketball, and softball too. Yes, sir. I've been playing softball ever since I was seven years old. And um, we actually got a new coach this year for softball as well. Our same basketball coach is our softball coach. And I think this year is going to be a good year. We didn't have too good of a year for basketball last year, but she's teaching us a lot. So I think this year will be mm -hmm. a good year for basketball. And softball last year, we lost to we lost to Etowah in regionals as well. Yeah, um, Micaiah Mosley is a senior at Munford High School. is our star student of the month, excelling in the classroom and in the sports arena as well. Uh, all A's and B's, top 15 in your class. Uh, I know you got to feel good about that. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm hoping to get top 10 by the end of the year. That's my goal. So as long as I stay on my books and study. And do good grades, make good grades. What do you class, think your I future think is going to hold for you? Hopefully, well, I'm hoping to attend college, and I eventually want to become a special education teacher. I've been wanting to be a teacher ever since I was five years old, but hmm. studying special education has become a new thing. I've wanted to do it ever since ninth grade, and um. So what's the need about special education teacher? I feel like special education doesn't get enough recognition, mm -hmm. and that's why I eventually want to open my own school for special education once I have more experience, more hands-on with them. They're just so unique and people underestimate what they really can do, but if you really sit down, pay attention, they're really smart and it's, they're not, it's not a disability. I don't believe special education is a disability. They're just unique in their own way. What's, uh, what's the dual enrollment math? It's college math. Okay. So I take it at school, but it's through JSU. Okay. And uh, uh, also uh, AP government, she's the SGA secretary, so she got a lot going on. Uh, with all this going on, you got to hit a bump in the road every once in a while. And when that happens, uh, who do you go to? Um, I usually go to my parents or Dr. G. He just tells us to keep our head, keep our head up. Everything will be okay. Talk, Everything tell me. You, you've mentioned this guy several times. Who is he? He is our social science teacher at Mumford High School. He, he is one of a kind. Mm -hmm. he's, he's preparing us for college. Like everything we do in the classroom prepares us for college. He tells us our college professors, we're, our parents can't call and we just have to handle things on our own because that's how college professors do. And so he just really engages college and career readiness in the classroom. And he, has, he sets high standards for us and he expects us to maintain those high standards. Now, you mentioned you've been accepted by a couple of uh, schools already. Uh, if you had your dream come true, where would you go to school? If my dream were to come true, I would go to school at the University of Kentucky. Okay. I just, I really love that school, really love everything about it. Did you say Western Kentucky? Yeah. University, oh, University of Kentucky. University of Kentucky, Lexington, yeah. Okay. Why, why there? I just love everything about it. They're just so student oriented and yeah. everything. But yeah. in Alabama, I'll probably go to JSU. Yeah. Now, um, you'll be graduating in just a few months. Uh, how would you like to be remembered uh, when you walk across the stage and receive that diploma as a graduating senior at Munford High? I just want to be remembered as a leader, somebody who helped the younger students in where to go, which way to go, and how to carry themselves because People are going to remember you by what you did. So if you're back, making a bad name for yourself, they're going to remember that. So mm -hmm. you really need to stay focused. Don't be out in the public. Just work on what you need to do yourself. And I just want to remember that's the leader. I was going to ask you, uh, Micaiah, what are some of the challenges that our senior high students, our, our, our juniors and sophomores, what are some of the challenges that we face today? Peer pressure hmm. is the biggest thing I can think of right now. It's just so many people getting, around, getting in the wrong crowds, doing the wrong thing. But how do, you, how do you keep out of that group? I keep out of that group by saying, are they really going to be here what, five years from now? What, how are people going to think of me? Are they going to think of me hanging with the wrong crowds, doing the wrong things, mm -hmm. 
or are they going to remember you as someone who was focused and who did what they were supposed to do? It's all about my name and my legacy and what legacy I want to leave. Well, Makaya Mosley is a senior at Munford High School, three-star uh, sports star, uh, A and B student in her top 15 in her class, and her uh, vision is to be in the top 10. Uh, she wants to attend college and become a special education teacher, maybe have her own school, especially for special needs children. Makaya, thanks for coming today. Thank you for having me. Makaya Mosley, she's looking right here in this camera. She's a senior at Munford High School, and Makaya Mosley is our star student of the month.